Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. As described in the title at the very start of the video, this upload is designed primarily for those people who are brand new to Excel and have never used it before but would like to find out how it works and what it can do for them. Now you'll notice that when you first open Excel you're presented with a piece of electronic graph paper and that graph paper is broken up into cells. Each of these little rectangles is a cell and the cell has an address. For example the cell A1 is described in its address as the intersection of column A and where it intersects with the row down the left hand side. There are 16,384 columns and there are over a million rows. So you can see that Excel can handle very very large spreadsheets. Now let's look first at the ribbon itself. This area here is called the ribbon and the ribbon is broken up into various uh, parts here depending on which tab you're using at the top. By default Excel starts at the home tab in which uh, there are various commands and as you hover your mouse over different commands you'll see that if you click the command then it will do what the tip says. They're called tooltips. In this case I'm looking at the bold tooltip. If I move to the italics tooltip it will says that it italicizes your text. So on and so forth and it doesn't matter which of the commands in the ribbons that you uh, point at it will tell you what will happen if you click on that particular command. So the home tab has a clipboard, a font group where I can change the size, the bolding, the italicizing, the color of the font etc. Then there is the alignment um, group, the number group, the styles group, cells and editing. If I move to the insert tab by clicking it it tells me what I can insert into the particular uh, spreadsheet itself, particularly the chart group which has all the different charts that I can use. So we could say that the key to learning Excel very much depends on knowing where the various commands are and as we click through the different tabs at the top we see that the groups change to uh, areas which are appropriate to the particular tab that you have clicked on. Now we'll go back to the home tab and let's see how we can move around. Now the golden rule of all computing is select then do. So I can change the active cell if I wish and remember that the active cell here I'm clicking on B2 and I'm shown the address in here in the address uh, box there called the name box and I'm also uh, indicated there that B2 the highlighted column and cells is the address of that particular cell. There is always one active cell. An active cell is surrounded by the dark borders and it is where when I type on the keyboard the uh, data appears in the active cell. So let's type the word cat and as I press the enter key I see that Excel moves down a cell by default and the data that I typed becomes the property of that particular cell. Let's type dog and we'll press enter and there I have a cat and a dog. So you'll see that the active cell can be changed by pressing enter or it can be changed by clicking in it with my mouse or it can be changed by pressing the left, down, right or up arrows. Now let's say that in cell B2 you don't want the word cat but you want a number. What we can do is click on B2 or move to it as I mentioned with the arrow keys 
and when you click on a cell you actually select the contents of that cell that means that you don't have to drag through uh, a word as you do in Microsoft Word to select the word you have actually selected the contents of the cell so I decide that I don't particularly want the word cat I will press the delete key which removes the word now I'm going to click on the cell B3 containing the dog and in this cell I decide that I want a number we'll say the number 23 now I don't need to delete the dog because as soon as I start typing I replace what is in that cell to force Excel to remember the contents of the cell I can press enter which takes me down a cell you'll also notice if I click back onto that cell and hold down the control key and press enter that I remain in the cell but force Excel to remember the contents of that particular cell another way to edit the contents of a cell is to double click in the cell and when I double click in a cell you'll notice that the flashing insertion point appears where I can if I wish delete the number 2 because I might want the number 3 in the cell so remember double clicking in a cell selects the particular cell uh, and puts me into what is called edit mode I can also if I wish press the F2 keys so I'm going to press first of all control enter to force the contents of the cell to be remembered notice that the flashing insertion point is no longer there but if I press the F2 key I put Excel again into edit mode so whenever I see the flashing insertion point I am in edit mode and that means that I can perhaps add another number if I wish control enter keeps me in the same cell removes the uh, editing flashing insertion point and now the contents of B3 are the number 34 now one of the reasons or the main reason that we use Excel is to manipulate numbers Excel has been designed for you to manipulate numbers whilst as you've seen you can type text into cells it is uh, not all that good at handling the uh, editing of, uh, of text or the formatting of text Microsoft Word is the program which is designed for you to manipulate text however of course in uh, uh, Excel I can uh, use text for headings for example here in cell B2 I'll type the word um, let's say salary not a very big salary $34 but what if I wanted to add some salaries I'll type some more text in these other cells some more numbers rather 45 46 and we'll say 21 now Excel is fantastic at adding numbers it is extremely fast Excel is the greatest calculator you'll ever use now how do I add numbers well up here in the home tab in the editing group is a button looks like the Greek letter Sigma and it is called the auto sum button and the way it works quite simply is this that if I click on the auto sum button Excel looks up the column and it says are there two or more cells that I can add and it stops its its guess and it guesses they're the cells you want to add and surrounds its guess with what is called a scrolling marquee some people call them marching ants and it stops at a cell which contains text or is a blank cell and it says here equals sum B33 to B6 which purely means that you are wanting to it's guessing you want to add those numbers don't worry about the equal sign at the moment or the word sum we'll look at that in a later video but to show that you can add numbers all you need to press the enter key and Excel shows you the total of those numbers if you wished of course you could put a little label here we'll say total press enter or control enter and there you have a little spreadsheet which is adding salaries for you 
Remember, before we move on, that the golden rule again of all computing is to select, then do. So if you want something to happen in that cell, then you need to select it, and then you can do something in it. You can type text, numbers, uh, change the size of the font up here in the font group by increasing the number here, but we'll look at that in a later video. So that's giving you a little bit of a look at Excel and how we can uh, change the uh, information in that blank piece of electronic graph paper. Remember to subscribe and you'll be automatically advised of uh, newer uploads which will take you as beginners uh, through the Excel uh, worksheets and remember that the name of the game is practice. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.